welcome back everyone uh, in today's video uh, we'll see uh, more how about how to use while loops uh, let's say i'll give you an example of how to get uh, sum of n numbers sum of n natural numbers using a while loop and then afterwards in the end of this video we'll see that uh, how can we uh, use a if and else statement inside a while loop and how can we uh, and uh, let's say let me see what is there and yes if else nested in while loop and how can we also uh, get to know that while else statement so this is all uh, about today's video and uh, so yes uh, let's get started with the video right away so uh, for sum of numbers to calculate sum of numbers let's say i want to calculate the sum of uh, first uh, 10 natural numbers right 10 natural numbers so what i'll have to do is i'll definitely give uh, a counter for me let's say i, I equals to zero and, and now this time i'll have to also give a separate variable that is let's say total is the name and i'll put it as a zero as well okay you'll understand it uh, why i'm doing it here just follow me for right now uh, so what i want is that while this value of i is less than equals to 10 what happens is this will add uh, this will change the total to total plus i and then it will print me the value of total and then i'll again increase the value of i from uh, i to i plus 1 so this will give me my results now let's see what is happening here what we are getting here okay now i'll you i'll make you understand what is happening here so initially our value of i is zero okay our value of i is zero and our value of total is also zero you can uh, take it any any variable here i've just written total uh, just to uh, better clarity just to get your better clarity now now it comes now code comes to this uh, this line what it is checking that that if uh, while this condition is true i is less than equal to 10 so yes i is our zero right so zero is less than equal to 10 so this is true it will go ahead what it will do is it will uh, change the value of uh, total from total to uh, total plus i so total is again initially zero and uh, afterwards plus i and i is also zero so the initial value of uh, this to this total becomes now zero only right so it is printing here a zero that is why we are getting here a zero only after that what we are doing is we are increasing the value of i by one we are incrementing by one so i becomes i plus one so this time now i becomes one okay so this i now becomes initially it was zero now it becomes one so uh, it will go to this condition now this uh, condition is again true while 1 is less than equal to 2 uh, one, uh, 1 is less than equal to 10 is true then it will go to a total now the total is again 0 because in the initial it was 0 right after this printing it was 0 now this was the value now we are adding a i to it so this becomes now 1 so it will print total here it will print the value of 1 here understood now again i changes from 1 to 2 and the same step is happening now i becomes here 2 and the is this condition is true and this condition now becomes uh, now this becomes uh, 1 plus 2 so 1 plus 2 that is equals to 3 so it will print me a value of 3 right uh, it's very simple now 3 becomes 4 it again goes upwards and here it comes now what it is doing is here it is adding a 3 plus 3 because initial the now the total value is 3 and i is also 3 so it, it will print me a 6 so here it is 6 and uh, as we go on this will uh, keep going in the same manner so this is how we can use a while loop to uh, get a sum of numbers but now let's say i want to get a sum of 100 numbers what should i do here and this is a lot easier a lot more easier method what i can do is this is an example of this uh, sum of n natural numbers uh, let me take a variable numerical nm num which is taking an input that uh, just enter a number it is asking a user to just enter a number and i'll, I'll say here enter a natural number okay and uh, 
again because input takes it in a string uh, what i'll have to do is i'll have to convert it into an integer now what i can do let's make another variable that is sum equals to zero and this time again i put i equals to zero sorry i equals to zero now this time if i write while loop while i less than equal to i'll simply what i'll simply write is that in the previous case i have written 10 here like while i is less than equal to 10 because it was specifically for a value 10 this code was specifically for the value of 10 now what i want to i just want to use any numerical value whichever uh, the user have entered so i'll simply write it here num that is this variable whatever the uh, user will be inputting i have uh, input here uh, while i is less than equal to num now i'll do the same thing what i'll do is i'll just add uh, some sum plus i and this will print sum this will i print this sum and then again i'll increase the value of i plus one uh, now let's see uh, I'll execute this cell so it is asking me uh, to enter natural number let's say i enter 100 now after every step it is giving me a total and the final sum will be the sum of 100 and uh, the first 100 natural numbers that is well known that is it should be 50 50 5050 50. so if we check the value if we check the value we are getting the 5050 50. we are getting the value of 5050 50. that is it means our code is correct but uh, it is not necessary that we can uh, we, we just need the output after every step right we just want the answer that is the ultimate answer that is a 50 50 so uh, this is just an extra step it was meant to make you understand easily how it is happening what you can do is you can simply just uh, exit the while loop how will you exit it just go there now it is it is being ex exited see whenever we are entering here right now now it is a space of tab here it means we are inside the while loop right now to uh, get away to get out from this while loop just press a backscape and now you write whatever you want to write so uh, now i'll write print sum so it will just print me the final value of sum not the each value of sum it will just give me the final value of sum see i'll enter natural number that is i let's say 100 so where's the output see only 50 50 is getting printed now okay uh, you let's just let's just check this for another example let's say i just write down 10 here so it should give me 55 as in the case of previous example here we got the final result 55 right so this was all about uh, sum of natural numbers now let us see that uh, how can we use while and else statement together so i have written already this code here that is the that is from previous example uh, where this statement is new uh, this was as it is code uh, this was uh, code as it is from the previous video now what i want is that okay if my condition is true i am printing this thing that uh, this this is not a abnormal pressure i just want to add also the else statement because i want to also uh, give some result if the condition is false so what i what i can do is else uh, print now let's say i will print now the pressure has become abnormal right so let's check okay so till now uh, till 20 2900 it will give me result that the that the pressure is not abnormal pressure see 2000 is not abnormal 2100 is not abnormal 2900 is not abnormal but as soon as this after 2900 we get we uh, add this another value of 100 it becomes 3000 and this condition becomes false so instead of printing this uh, block of while loop it will just give me the value inside the else else block that is the now the pressure has become abnormal okay so this is how can uh, how we can uh, use uh, else statement inside a while loop we can also uh, yes there's another way to write else statement as well let's say i'm copying this code again what we can do is let's delete this uh how can you write uh, if you if you just want to exit here just write print same thing that uh, 
now the pressure has become abnormal i haven't used the l statement here i have simply just uh, written the print statement just uh, outside the while loop i have exited the while loop here and just written from the starting in this new line so it will automatically consider this as a, a else statement so let's see we we'll, we are getting the same result here also so i hope you understand this one now let's see uh, how can we uh, use if else else statement inside the while loop for example my i have a value of n equals to 1 okay now my n is equals to 1 i want to say like while i is less than equal to 10 and inside while i want to give two conditions first condition is i'll use if inside the while like if i is less than equal to 5 sorry i have to write it here n so if n is less than equal to 5 what i want to print is that value of n is less than equal to 5 okay and if now i have to write else statement right so exit the if, if block by pressing a backspace now write the else else you print value of n is greater than 5 great now and now in 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 while loop only but you have to exit the else loop you have exited the else loop but we are still in the while loop because the tab the this tab space is here right let's say i and press enter from here this is still inside the else loop because there is a difference between else and the pointer where is right now so you'll have to exit here uh, let's say press backspace now you have uh, exited the else loop here but you are still in while loop because it is uh, because there is a difference of tab here from where w started and where our current pointer is correct so in this we'll also give the incremental that is n equals to n plus 1 now let's check the answer okay okay one more thing to make it more understandable is uh let's just use the string formatting you'll understand why i'm doing this value of n right now i have just given uh, in the previous code what i did was i just i didn't input the value of n in this case using the help of string formatting i have uh, just used the value of n at each step so let us understand what is happening here <clears throat> so the initial value of n is 1 great now this condition is true that 1 is less than equal to 10 so uh, if this condition is true it is going forward and what it in for what in, uh, in going forward what it is finding is that if statement so if n is further less than equal to 5 it means that 1 is less than equal to 5 great this is also true so it will print this statement that is value of n whatever the value of n is less than equal to 5 so value of 1 is less than equal to 5 great correct similarly it will go till uh, 5 as uh, uh, okay sorry after print after executing this statement now if statement has been executed it means there is no need of else statement at all so it will ignore this else statement else loop and directly come over to this step right now after the value of n equals to 1 now n has been increased by one uh, step so n becomes 2 now it again comes to while loop again check the condition again this is true this is also true so it again print this value and uh, again uh, goes to n and n becomes 3 so it is happening till 5 but what is happening after 5 as soon as it becomes 6 now n becomes 6 this condition is true correct but this becomes false so it will ignore the if statement and go to else statement then it will print that value of uh, whatever n that in this case 6 that is it is greater than 5 and hence uh, it is printing value of 6 is greater than 5 and similarly it is going till 10 because after 10 if n becomes 11 here 
this condition becomes false because 11 is not less than equal to 10 right so this statement becomes false and hence uh, it will not execute anything inside this while loop so it will our code will uh, our code will stop uh, there only okay so i think uh, you are pretty much comfortable now with use of while loop again you can just take uh, play with the code you can just uh, do any example just imagine with uh, imagine and uh, can take any examples and go to another videos and uh, see how this loop is working so uh, this is uh, all about uh, this video and thank you for joining i'll see you in the next video thank you